Welcome to the third part of my tutorial on how to solve a 5x5 Rubik's Cube Professor. At this point, all of your centers should be complete. In this part 3, I'm going to teach you how to pair up two edges at a time. The final part 4 will cover how to correct the parity errors which occur after we have paired the edge pieces. We must find an outer edge piece and an inner edge piece which are identical. Once you have found two, so here I have an outer blue-white edge piece on the left side, and here I have an inner blue-white edge piece on the right side. The two edges must be directly opposite each other and also have switched orientations, meaning that this one has blue on the front and white on the side, while the other one has white on the front and blue on the side. I like to bring the one on the inside up layer over to the one on the middle layer. In order to realign the centers, we must replace this newly matched pair with an unmatched pair. So before I match them up, I make sure that there is an unmatched pair in the top layer here directly in front of the middle layer edge piece. Okay, so to match these two up, I'm going to bring the one on the inside up layer over to the one on the middle layer. Now what we have to do is get this out of the way so that we can replace it with a non-matched pair. So because the newly matched pair is now on the right side, I need to bring the right face clockwise or up so that this newly matched pair is now on the top layer. I then turn the top face clockwise to bring that newly matched pair directly in front. And then I'm going to bring the right face counterclockwise or back down. This is that newly matched pair which I originally showed you was over here. And now we can realign the centers without worrying about breaking these two up. Okay, so now you'll see we have one newly matched pair. So now what you do is you look around the cube for other pieces which we can match up. As you'll see, I have a red-white outer edge piece here, and I have a red-white middle edge piece here. What I need to do, this one is in the middle layer, so I need to get this one in the inside up layer. So I'm going to twist it here, and then bring it up. And as you'll notice, they do have opposite orientations. Because this middle edge piece is now on the left side, I need to make sure that I have an unmatched pair here. As you'll see, these two pieces are not matched properly, so it's okay if we split them up. What I'm going to do is bring this piece over to the piece on the middle la layer. Now, because the newly matched pair is on the left side, I'm going to bring the left face counterclockwise, bring the top face counterclockwise, so now you should see that newly matched pair directly in front. And then I'm going to bring the left face clockwise. Now we can realign the centers and we don't have to worry about splitting these two up. Okay, so now we have two newly matched pairs. What I'm going to do now is look again for pieces which we can match up. So here I see I have a outer um, orange-white edge piece. And here I have a middle orange-white edge piece. The ones that I like to start with first are the white edge pieces because they're the easiest to spot in my opinion. So this one is in the middle layer and has white on the front. This one is in the outer or if you turn it this way it's in the inside up layer and it has orange. So all I have to do is bring this piece down so that they're on the same face like that. Now this middle edge piece is on the middle layer so I have to make sure that here is where an unmatched pair is. So now I bring this piece over to that piece. It's on the right side so I bring the right face clockwise or up, bring the top face towards me so now this um, newly matched pair is here and then I bring the right face back down and now I can realign the centers. Okay, you just keep on doing that, the same thing over and over again. So, if you look around the cube, here I have a green-white piece, and here I have a, another green-white piece, which is outer. This one's on the middle layer. If I get this one down here, it will be on the inside-down layer, but all we have to do is flip the cube over in order to do that. So I put it here, and now I could bring it to this face. Now you'll see this one is here, and this one's here. So you just turn the cube over, and now you'll see that this one's on the inside up, and this one's on the middle. Make sure that you have an unmatched pair here. These two pieces are not matched up. Don't get confused because these two pieces are matched up, because these are the two that are going to split. 
So I bring this piece over to that piece. It's on the right side, so I bring the right face clockwise, bring the top towards me. So now you have to see this unmatched pair here. I'm sorry, the newly matched pair should be here. And then you bring the right face counterclockwise or back down. And now you can realign the centers. And as you'll see, you're not going to break up that. And by doing that, we actually brought this piece in. Uh, I didn't even mean to do that, but <laughs> now you have a completed tread here. Okay, so look around the cube still. And here I have a orange-green outer edge piece. And here is another orange-green piece, which is in the middle layer. They're, they're correctly lined up in order to match them. So you just make sure that you have an unmatched pair here, which we do. So I bring this piece over to that piece, bring it up, out of the way by bringing it towards us, and then bring the left face back down, and then realign the centers. Okay, so because they're of time constraints, I'm not going to be able to going... I'm not going to be able to go through pairing every single edge piece. So now that you know the method for pairing the edges, I would like you to try to get as many of those edge pairs as possible, making sure that you don't break up any of the newly matched pairs. I'm now going to go over what happens when you're close to finishing the edges and you start to run out of those unmatched pairs. Alright, so if we look around the cube, you'll notice that we have at least one matched pair at each tredge location. Now we must be careful that we don't break up any of those newly matched edge pairs when matching the remaining edges. I'm going to show you how to position the unmatched pairs to complete edge pairing. Since you now know the method, I'm going to go a little bit faster. Okay, so I have a orange-white piece which I can match up with these, but they have to be opposite. So I bring this one down, put that over there, bring it back. I have an unmatched pair directly in front of the middle edge piece, so I can match it up. It's on the left side, so I bring it up, bring it towards me so it's now in front, and then bring the left face back down. Now I could realign the centers. So now I keep looking around the cube, and I have these pieces already matched up, already set to be matched. So all I have to do is get an unmatched pair in this spot. So I could use this one right here. So I turn it until it's there. Now I can match this piece up with the middle piece. It's on the left side now. So I bring it up and bring the newly matched pair in front. Then I bring the left side back down and then I realign the centers. Alright, so now if I look around the cube I can match this pair up with this piece. So I get it onto the same face. Now I see I do have an unmatched pair here. So what I do, I match it up same thing. Bring the right face up and bring that newly matched pair towards it. Now I bring the right face back down and realign the centers. Keep looking around the cube. I actually have these already set to be matched. However, I don't have an unmatched pair here, so I, get, I can use this one. All I do is twist it until it's in that spot. Now I could pair this piece up with that piece. It's on the left side, so I bring it up and bring it towards me. Then I bring the left side back down and realign the centers. Keep looking around the cube. I could pair this piece with that piece. So I get it so that I can be paired. I don't have an unmatched pair here that I can use. So what I could do, I could use this one. So I twist it. So now when I pair it up, I have an unmatched pair here. So I pair it, bring it up and in front, and then bring the left side back down. Now I could realign the centers. Okay, now I can get these paired with this piece. So I could bring this piece down, get that over there, and then bring it back. I don't have an unmatched pair in that spot. So what I could do is I could use this unmatched pair here. So all I have to do is rotate this around. Now when I pair this up, I can use this unmatched pair here. So I pair it. It's on the left side. I bring it up and towards it. Then I bring it back down and realign the centers. Okay, so now if I look at the cube, I see that I have two pairs left. So even if I try to align them, I'm not going to be able to match them up. This is because I have a parity error. 
So there are no more unmatched pairs which I can use. I just have these two treasures left. So even if I went like that, I can't match it up. And if I went like that, it's not going to do any good. So this is a parity error, which I will now go over in the next part, how to solve. At this point, you should have all of the treasures completely solved, and two of them are probably left that you have to fix because of parity.